going? Okay, so today's video, I had a request from someone asking me about how I get that little sparkle down there, how I make that animation. And so I wanna do a quick tutorial showing you how simple it is. Um, and it just takes a little bit of searching on the internet and uh, you can add a GIF and any really animation that you can find um, into your live stream or to your, your recorded video inside OBS. So this is an OBS tutorial showing you how to do that. So you guys, a little bit about me before I jump into the tutorial. My name is Kate. Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, I am a techie teacher that I, I am a teacher by trade. I went to school to be a teacher. I used to teach third grade. I resigned about four and a half, five years ago. And um, now actually I teach in a different way online. I have my YouTube channel here where I'm teaching you techie things that I learned how to do because I love technology. And I mostly use technology. I'm gonna use, I use technology for everything, but I'm really um, into technology right now to stream my fitness classes. So people usually find me in two different ways on YouTube. Either you're searching for a fitness class called Turbo Kick or Pio. I mean for those workouts or if you will find me because they're searching for things about OBS or you're a fitness professional or you are somebody trying to get your stuff online or you're wanting to live stream or make videos so you guys tell me about you who are you why are you here what were you searching for uh, because that really helps me understand who's watching my stuff so that I can create more content that's helpful for you so comments are so appreciated. I love hearing from people. Tell me, what do you do as your profession? Uh, like I said, what are you searching for? What are you le looking to learn how to do online? Are you a fitness professional trying to stream your fitness classes? What is it? Tell me, tell me. Um, so you guys, today's topic, like I said, I wanna show you how to use uh, animated GIFs within OBS to give your, your show or your video a little more flair, a little more pizzazz. I think that making your videos look really nice is really important. And especially if you are someone who's running a business and you want to look professional, appear professional, you want to stand out, you want to market, you want to brand, um, any of those reasons. Or maybe you just want to have fun and you want to make it look cute and fancy because that's the teacher in me. Like I just, I'm all about cute, you know, cute and colorful. Yes, can you tell? Um, so a few other resources before we get started, you guys, a few other Facebook groups you may want to join. Um, obviously no pressure, but if you're on Facebook, you can search for these groups. This one is a group I set up for people who are uh, using OBS or really any other platform, Streamlabs, Ecamm, um, Wirecast. I don't use all of those. I My, my expertise is OBS. Um, but you can search for this group. It's I made it for fitness professionals, but there are definitely other professions in there. There's artists, there's musicians, there's gamers. Um, just a place where we can connect and support each other and learn, not because I am, hold on, my computer's gonna die, I gotta plug it in. Um, not because I'm an expert, uh, but just as a place where we can all ask questions and just share knowledge. The other Facebook group, if you wanna do my workouts with me, like you actually want to do Turbo Kicker Pio, if that's why you're here, then come find this Facebook group. This is where I post all my weekly schedules. And then finally, um, this is a new platform that I'm on called Crowdcast, and you can come follow me here on Crowdcast, Kate McD, but this is their Facebook group. It's not my group, uh, but I hang out there a lot because I do stream on Crowdcast. I stream to two platforms. I stream to Crowdcast, and I stream to YouTube, and I use OBS to do all of that. So those are the Facebook groups to check out. So you guys, back to today's topic which is how to get these cute little animations or any type of, type of GIF into OBS to make your show stand out. So let's get into it. So the first thing you wanna do is um, you're gonna wanna have some background for this video. So you need to have an understanding of OBS. You need an understanding of how your scenes work and you need to know how to add sources and you should have your images already added to OBS um, that you want to put some animation on. So those are things you need to know for this tutorial. So if you don't know those things, then pause it here, go find some other YouTube videos showing you how to do that. I do have some, I'll try to put the card somewhere, maybe up over there somewhere um, about scenes and sources, but that is background knowledge you need for this video. So let's go. Um, for adding those little animations, I'm gonna show you exactly how I added this sparkle. And then I'll show you just uh, a few other tips about finding other animations you may wanna add in. So first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go to um, this intro slide because you'll notice uh, I took the sparkles off. And so this is where we're gonna start. So I have my images all placed. Again, this is the background knowledge you need to have. You already have your images in OBS. Now I just wanna add a layer on top of that image that is transparent so that it appears like my name is shimmering, right? So what I did is I'm gonna go to my desktop screen here and you're gonna see here 
that I have gone into uh, just Google and I have looked for, I've searched transparent sparkle GIF. That's what I searched. And all of these popped up and you do have to click on uh, images here. Okay. So let me just backtrack for you. Cause if you're not the so transparent sparkle GIF. Okay. <laughs> and then you want to click on the images tab. So now it's going to pull up any GIFs that Google can find that are transparent and transparency is very important because if it's not a transparent image, then you're going to have a background color on your image and then it's not going to go on top of your graphic clearly. Does that make sense? I'll show you an example. So anyway, I just clicked on, when you click on them, what you can do is Google will open it up in a preview for you and you want to make sure you can see the animation. If you don't see the animation there, then it's probably not a true GIF. And that does happen. So then I just kind of clicked through and I looked, oh, there's some cute hearts. Maybe I could use that somewhere. I don't know. But I found this one. Now this one's hard to see, but do you see it animating there? It looks like this is the black background. Now you'll know it's transparent because of the checkered background. So the checkered background will not show up when you insert this image. That's what transparency is. The transparency means that th there is a clear, like imagine an overhead projector. If you're old enough to know what an overhead projector is, if you're a teacher, you definitely know what this is when your teacher put up a transparency on top of your overhead projector and then you could see through and she could write on it and you know do all the fun things that's what transparency is and you want that now imagine when your teacher put that piece of paper on the overhead projector what happened you couldn't see anything because it was not transparent <laughs> so that's transparency and the definition of it so now you find a gift that you like i liked this one and all i did was i right clicked on it and I save the image as, okay, save it somewhere special. Okay, I'm gonna just save it in my downloads as a sparkle GIF. Okay, I'm gonna save it. Now, now I have it. Okay, I'm gonna go into OBS. I'm gonna go back to that intro page where I wanna add it right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna add a source. And I'm gonna add my source by going down to, um, the, actually, let me get into my OBS. Sorry, I'm in the wrong one here. Go to my OBS scene. Okay, I know it's Twilight Zony. I know, I know, I know. We're gonna just bear with me here. Um, so now you're gonna go down. So my pointer is gonna help. You're gonna add a source by pushing that plus button. Okay, so I'm gonna push it. And now you're going to want to choose um, media source. Okay, so you're gonna add a media source. And it's gonna ask you to name it. So we'll name this um, Sparkle GIF. You wanna name your sources so things stay organized. It's important. Okay, now you'll also notice that I have an existing GIF already because I have added this one already, but I wanna show you from the beginning. Okay, so I'm naming it Sparkle GIF. I'm gonna name it Sparkle GIF 2. Okay, okay. Now you're gonna find that file that you just saved and you're gonna want to, if you want this animation to continuously go, you have to make sure you check loop, okay? Um, and then you're gonna browse and you're gonna find where you saved that Sparkle GIF. I saved mine to my downloads, okay? Where is it? It is right here, Sparkle GIF. I'm gonna open that up. Now I click okay. Ah, there it is, do you see it? Now, okay, first of all, I'm showing you on the wrong slide, but I wanted to show you where I, what my OBS settings were. So I don't really want this Sparkle GIF on this Scene. but this is how I added it right now I can move it around I can place it wherever I want okay so now what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna hide this eyeball okay I'm gonna go back to that scene that I actually wanted it on okay and now I want it to go right down here on the bottom right by my name okay so I'm gonna go to I know you can't see this now but I just showed you so I'm gonna walk you through verbally okay so what I'm doing is I'm going to my plus button on my sources tab and I'm going to insert the media source. Now I've already added it, so I can just choose add existing, okay? Or I can choose the file again, whatever you want. Click okay, make sure it's looping. Ah, look at me, I'm sparkling. Do you see how it's transparent? It's transparent because the image, you can see straight through the image to me. Now I can move this around and I can, you know, grab your, um, handles and you can make it smaller and I just placed it right over the top of my name all right and that's it now I have this cool image that looks like it's like this awesome animation that is super simple and it's just a gif okay so the other things I want to show you with gifs so you can I'm gonna go back to my desktop here you can 
you can search for any kind of gifts. I mean, if you literally, let's take out the word sparkle. Let's say you wanted a trans, let's say you wanted a, I mean, it doesn't have to be transparent if you don't care about transparency. Um, let's say you want a animated subscriber button for YouTube. Okay, so let's search, um, actually let's just search subscriber button gift. Let's just see what pops up. Hey, lots of YouTube buttons to choose from. Now, to make sure it was actual animation, you have to click on it and Google will, or I'm in Chrome. Chrome will show me what this animation looks like. Now this animation, you'll notice it's not transparent. This has a pink and a purple background. So that might matter to you for branding. Now let's check this one and see if this is, um, that one will have a white background. Let's check this one. That one's a whole bunch of random things. Now, if you really need transparency, then add that to your search. Subscriber button, transparent. Okay, now some of these will not be transparent because that's just how it works. You have to kind of go searching, but you can click on them and see. So, nope, that's green. Nope, that's green. There's a, tra this is a transparent one. That's that other weird one. So you can just click and search. That one is gonna be white. That one is gonna have a background. This one is transparent. Let's say I like this one. Okay, you hover over it, you right click. Save image as. Okay, find your spot to save it and name it something you know. Subscribe button, gif, save. Okay, it's saving. Go back into your OBS. Okay, so now you're back in OBS again. Remember, to add it, you just go to that plus button in your sources. So you plus button, media source. Let's add subscriber button. Okay. Let's make it loop because we want it to play over and over again. Now you could turn the loop off and it would just animate once. Choose it, open it, click okay. There it is, animated. Okay, so I can put this wherever I want right now. So let me just, uh, let me close off my dis. Okay, so here it is. I just turned that off for you. So you can see it's, anim an it's animation. So I can make it bigger. I can put it wherever I want. I can put it on top of me. I can put it over here. So that's how you add these animations. You have to find them first or make them. If you know how to make them, you can make them. Um, but finding them is just as easy, especially if you're a newbie, okay? And then um, then you have awesome pictures or animations with fun, sparkly things, and your show and your video stands out. So you guys, I hope this was helpful for you. You can find so many fun things on the internet just by searching using the correct search terms and using the words like transparent, um, being specific about what you're looking for, and then the word, the uh, extension GIF, G-I-F. And then you can find these animations that you can add in and get creative with. So you guys, if this was helpful for you and if this is a channel that you find value in, then please make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you've liked this video that helps my channel so, so much. Um, share this with anybody who you might think might need the information or maybe someone who's using OBS as well. Um, ask questions too. The questions that I get really drive my content. It really helps me decide what I'm gonna make a video about next. And it really helps me understand my audience better, which helps you and it helps me. So it's a win, win, win. So please, please ask questions below. Um, or even if it's just a comment saying, you know, thank you, or this helps, or this didn't help, or I'm still wondering about this. Um, it all is really great feedback. Um, also check the description for any other links that might be helpful um, that I, I try to add the stuff that I talk about or that's relevant to the video. So just check down there for any additional info or how to connect with me. And then of course, come back soon, you guys. Um, like I said, I hope you have a great day and make sure you're subscribed and check back soon for more techie tutorials. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.